If you have OneNote installed on your computer, you're not going to want to go to the, the link on our um, Learn homepage. Instead, what you're going to want to do is, first step, you're going to want to send me an email at my email address with your Windows Live ID. This is your email address that you use to sign into SkyDrive and all those other things. Um, once you've done that, you'll get an email from the system saying that Kevin Markle has shared a notebook with you. When you go there, you'll see you get a different, um, you get a link here. You click on that link and your browser, your default browser will open up and it should look something like this. And you notice that we're not signed in at this point. And so this will either say edit in OneNote here or it'll say open in OneNote. Hopefully it'll say open in OneNote. Once you do that, the browser will open up and say, I need to open up OneNote. And you say, absolutely, launch the application. Now, once you've launched the application, so this is uh, 2013, so 2010 will look slightly different, but it should, should work entirely. Um, you'll notice again, we're not signed in here yet, so it doesn't really know who we are. And you'll notice that this syncing icon here up uh, is a, you know, a yield sign, meaning you can't sync. And when you go and ask it why, it says some sections can't be synced. The reason that is, is that you do not have editing rights on this book. Why is that? Well, because I, we, I can't have all the students editing it or it would just get out of control. So what I recommend you do then is create your own notebook. So you're going to create it here. I'm just going to, you can save it on the Skydive. That would probably be the best place to do it. I'm just going to quickly um, save it right here and call it My 361 Notebook. You can obviously call it whatever you want to. And I have no idea where that actually just saved. But anyway, now I have two notebooks. And this one's completely blank, as you can see. So what you will want to do now is go to this notebook, the, the one that will be keep getting maintained. So you know, throughout the term, this will become a very, very full notebook with lots of pages across here, lots of things going here. But every class is going to basically be the same. We're going to have this starting point. And so what you're going to want to do is right click on here, say move or copy. And I want to put this in my new notebook. And it doesn't matter where I put it, so I may as well put it in uh, down here. And I will say copy. OK, so now when I go over here, I'll say, OK, let's go back to my 361. And you'll see that I now have that page here. And now you can do whatever you want to it. This is yours completely. You can type and do whatever you want. So this is basically your, your workspace. And then after class has happened, and we're all done, then these, these finished products, what we actually do in class will be here uh, after, class, after the fact. So you'll be able to come here, do exactly the same thing, move it over to your notebook, um, and we're gonna copy it. And again, I go back, you go back to your own local one, and you'll see that you've got for class one, so you probably wanna label this class one, and here's the starting point, here's the field. And then, of course, you can do anything else within OneNote. All your notes that you take in class, um, whatever else. That's the gist of it. Now the beautiful thing about this is now whenever you open uh, OneNote, as long as you are signed in, so it's going to come here and ask you to sign in, when you sign in it will automatically pull down all the changes that have happened since the last time you you uh, were in there. Okay, So it's, it's, it's incredible. You can make changes here. You see I'm typing up here in the title those changes will not, they will not affect what is being um, seen by every other student. But I recommend, highly recommend, so you can see what just popped up here. We're sorry, you, your account does not have permissions to edit this notebook. So if you do do edits on here, it won't affect anything. But the far better way is for you to keep a separate copy that's just yours, that's unaffected by what, what anybody else does. So we use the, the main notebook as a source and yours as your primary place. I hope that makes some sense. Um, if you have any questions about the process, please let me know. Um, and uh, I hope this tool is great for you. Thanks.